Welcome back and my sincerest apologies if you've been anxiously awaiting another episode of Power Slap League Road to the Title. I know you could just go to rumble.com and stream them all in full, but no, you fight that urge and choose to come here and watch them with me. And honestly, the dedication is not lost on me. The opening title indicates it's fight day, which we know is half right, as it's clearly daytime, but as we all know, there will be no fighting, just slapping and fouling. They're getting you hyped up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And my kids. Real natural. Everybody brings five by eight photos of their kids into the pool with them, don't they? I've got five kids. I'm beginning to think this is a bit of a prerequisite to join Power Slap League. Like, if the number of kids you have rivals how many brain cells you have left, you're a shoe in I mean, I've had hits to the head, never been blacked out, never been knocked out. There is, as they say, a first time for everything. It means the world to me that I actually get to use my full potential to actually do something worth meaning. I really hope you're talking about your construction job because yes, people need houses. They don't need or want this show or sport for that matter. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the level of detail they put into this Power Slap mobile game ad? They really captured the true essence of the completely soulless eyes you only ever see on corpses or in the recently concussed. <laughs> Whoa, here comes trouble. Brian, I know you're big and strong, but you're not ready for this hammer that's about to drop on your fucking head. Honestly, hammer drop on head league sounds like a perfect offshoot of power slap. I'm not sure it'll get a TBS deal, but neither did season two of this, and look at it thriving. I don't think he wants any part of a fight. Good thing you guys won't be actually fighting then, I guess. Did I miss the part where Dana offered money to whoever grunts the most? Geez, Brian is a full 225 points over Miles in the slap score. A true open and shut case. The slap score never lies. Miles goes brain down on the table on his way to the floor. And his spotters don't exactly smooth out his fall too well either. Meanwhile, the man responsible for this whole thing is busy taking some sweet vertical video, which once posted to the internet will be seen by literally trillions of people. Just ask him. Foul. Oh no, he didn't commit a stepping foul, did he? Haven't seen one of those since, well, the literal last match, I guess. Don't care enough to go back, but I mean, they happen a fair bit. Holy fucking shit. There's Dana repeating the phrase that he uttered when TBS agreed to put this trash on their network. His fucking forehead hit that fucking table so hard. Is that good? Because it sounds like you think it's a good thing, but I'm not really sure why you would. That was arguably the hardest hit we've ever had. A hundred percent. Not arguably. Glad you finally came to your senses, Dana. Shall we call off the rest of the season before somebody gets seriously hurt? I believe that if Brian cleans up his technique, I see him having a big future in the sport. Or not. I guess he gave me his best and it didn't work. A win's a win. Funny way to see it, but hey, who can blame him? It's not like he has any recollection of the match whatsoever. Moving right along, it's a guy with a Joker mouth tattoo and the real-life Clayface. Heh, where's Batman when you need him? Well, that's weird, but I'll give him a pass. It's still a better use of his time than anything Power Slap related. First pick of this season, I'd have never in a million years, bro. Why not? Just because this season there are guys who've actually competed in the sport in the past, and others who seem decently athletic, hmm. you're ignoring entirely the fact that one of the coaches may be on crack, allegedly. My nickname is The Joker. I'm funny, but at the same time, I'm gonna get the job done by any means necessary. Exactly what it says on his record at Arkham Asylum, I'm sure. Joker's good. I was watching the first season of Road to the Title. I looked right at my wife and she goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Always listen to your wife. I was a troubled kid. I'd wrestle my teachers in school. But that was then, and now I just fight trees in my spare time. Look at them, standing there, all big and tall, cleaning our air. Who do trees think they are? They're about to get a slap. After I watch the road to the title, I run into Dwayne Crespo. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and suggest that that wasn't at a Mensa meeting. Please. So that's where the bar's set now. If you can slap the pad without moving your feet or knocking your air fryer off the counter, it's considered amazing. Actually was willing to help me with um, learning the sport inside out. And as you can imagine, that took the better part of several minutes, so I really owe him. 
You can't pivot it after the fact. You can't, can't, can't. I told him, don't do it. The pearls of wisdom just keep on coming, don't they? I'm full, 100% in diving head first. Probably a good way to prepare for power slap, provided the pool is very shallow. About as effective training as anything else they're doing, if you ask me. I feel like I definitely bring a lot of IQ into this. Wow. You know what, power slap? Thanks for the reminder. Just a hint of banana. If you don't know your body, you're, you're already at a major disadvantage. Yeah, so if something similar to what happened in the movie Big or Freaky Friday just happened to you, maybe give slap fighting a pass. <laughs> okay, time to meet the face that confirmed this sport is a disgrace. Soren Kamza from actual Transylvania. We then get a recap of his recent fight in Romania, where one of his cheeks was turned into a deployed airbag. As if there's even one person on earth voluntarily watching this show who hasn't seen that clip. Dana then explains that after seeing him look like someone had pressed an iron on the side of his face, they just couldn't do the next season without the guy. At first glance, you get the feeling it's a real Cinderella story for old Kamza. Hard work and humble beginnings. But then he says this and throws your whole perception right off. It's a pretty popular village because we have the most tractors per, per cup people. Now that's impressive! Do you want to marry her? Do you want to have kids with her? Can I skip this? Well, let's hope her English isn't beyond like a third grade level. At the weigh-ins, the court of public opinion is split. Some say number one overall pick Ryan Wallace gets it done, while a few others think there's about as much chance of that as there is of slap fighting becoming an Olympic sport. Good thing we have that highly scientific slap score to settle it. Ryan Wallace is the smallest guy, but he has the highest slap score in the division with 874. Whoa, 874? 874? That's good, right? I mean, that sounds really good. Just go in there, don't overthink anything. That shouldn't be a problem. Serene, what I'm bringing is just gonna be straight power, technique, nothing that you've ever seen before. Doubt it. It's just slapping a guy. Plus, we've already had Slap Jesus and Carice Archer. What's possibly left to show? You're either gonna have to cut my legs off or kill me. Pretty hard to get a stepping foul with no legs, though. Just saying. I'm better than every light heavyweight, super heavyweight, or heavyweight fighter in the world. Hard not to cheer for such a humble guy. Okay, now remember, Ryan's got the big slap score, and he's going first. Not to mention, check out that form. Elbow up, Joker tattoo on full display. God damn. I'm not entirely sure why Dana looks as if he's sitting on top of the sun, but he seems impressed. Maybe there's something to this whole slap score thing, and I was wrong about top-ranked Ryan. But then again, look at him. Like, is he serious with that stance? And if so, why so serious? Remember, hey, no stepping, okay? No stepping. See, now that's not great coaching. English isn't his first language, so it's kind of your fault, Manny, if he thought you were telling him to step. One point, stepping foul. One point, one point. Ah! I guarantee there's no feeling left in this guy's cheek. Just look at his face. He looks surprised they're telling him it's his turn again. Like he doesn't even know he got hit. Oh. Sleep. Yep. That'll do it. Sorry, KO Chris, I don't think that guy was the high value pick that you thought he was. And yes, I do say that knowing full well how epic of a slap score he had. On that note, that's about all any of us can take of this show, I'm pretty sure. Will another highly ranked slapper go down in flames? Check back soon for another recap, which will be out as soon as I can stomach another episode. Thanks for watching, all the best.